Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from West End Gamers, and welcome back to another server tour. Now, this is the second server tour of the season, and for that very reason, this one's going to be a little bit shorter. We're going to focus on factions that have evolved their bases, added new additions to their aircraft fleet, so there's going to be a few factions, a few bases that are missed out of this one, simply because they're quite happy with their designs, and all they've done is reproduce aircraft for events and activities that they've been doing. And they've not added anything new to their fleet or their base. So let's start by having a look at DKC. So Marek has been quite busy. We've got the vertical takeoff and landing mini helicopter type deals here. So you can see they've got two directions of thrust. They've got the afterburners at the back and they've got these large engines at the side. Now Marek showed good use of the little Hydra missile pods, a fast firing rocket pod the other night. And these really are quite deadly. I recommend that players arm their ships up with them. So coming down this way a little bit further, we've got ourselves some of these aircraft as well. These are really cool. You can see that little swept back wing design here. And then they've got the all these engines. Look at that big array of thrust. And underneath here, of course, we have got some more rocket pods and even a gun pod for a Gatling gun. Up in the nose, we've got their very formidable 20mm that's now been allowed on the server. We did some testing, seeing if it caused lag, and we've allowed them in a small number. Really due to their rate of fire, it can be quite draining on performance. So as we enter into these other hangars, we have dipped into these before, so we've got production and storage, and we've also got a new addition. This room was empty before, but it's been now decked out as like a production or a, a parts department, it seems. There's like people picking parts over there, there's people assembling things, a bit like a Christmas workshop, and there's people around these LCD desks over here. So quite cool. So some of the other areas are still in need of a little bit more human interaction but still quite a cool tower it looks like a great little base from a distance as well as well so as we come up you can see the actual runway and facility production and miners out to the rear so let's continue on so we're moving on to hyd so hyd what have they been up to now the main reason i wanted to come over here is because they have been working on a little mech suit they've also moved a few things around and finished off building a few of the items and there's also G's classic BF-109s over here that I believe G builds for every Gulf season but never ends up flying them. They always just seem to sit here on display. I don't know if G's busy or he runs out of time or whatnot. But yeah, they're, they're a beautiful aircraft. I just never ever see them managing to get into a fight. We've got the, the chunky chopper here. Very nice with all its guns up at the front there. And up in this area we've got this guy. Look at this one. This one's quite cool. A really nice cockpit remote control turret up at the front that is wobbling just a little bit and then we've got rear access here into a little compartment with some seats and turrets very nice indeed but this is why i came to this base this little robot here still damaged from a battle the other day and you're probably asking where are the battles from the gulf season this time well i've been saving up a few videos to last us over the holiday break while i do some festive activities so you'll be seeing them very, very soon. So just a really cool little build. It's actually got the Gatling guns up in the head here. And as we come around the back and work our way down the back there, you can see there's a little door with an access to the control. And as this is flying around, it releases like vapor trails from the engines and the, the feet as well. I think that's just really quite fun and, and interesting to have a look at. You've got the shield over here that is also attached by a merge block, so it can be dropped or thrown at someone if need be. And there's a few other cool little fighters and you've got the tanks are over here as well coming over this side you've got the big blue plane that we've actually seen in some action and due to it being so chunky um it's it's actually pretty good it's actually really quite good you can see the little propeller and the engines behind there yeah it could take quite a bit of damage and up here we have got some more of g's 109 so let's move on we're heading over to rsa last time we had a look at rsa they were they were almost complete building a giant wall around their facility in like a, a cyberpunk sort of vibe um, but let's see what they have finished up with we'll also have a little bit of talk about what we've seen them in terms of tactics as well so let's go to our admin menu rotate the sun over so over at this facility it's still loading itself in we've got some of the crafts in here looks like we've got a little cargo rover and we've got one of the ships from last night's event so this one is quite cool. Underneath it's designed to carry a large rover that you'll see shortly. And on top it has these little aircraft, three of them at the back. And these are launch forward. Uh, two, two variable degrees of success um, and take off. 
So here's the base. You've got these ginormous doors. I didn't even know these were doors originally. I just thought they were part of a wall. But these doors can go in and out. If we've got any button controls here, Aaron, you're going to press something and break it. You always do this. Um, I can't. I can't see them off the top of my head. Oh, there's a little button down here. Let's let's hit this button. We're, we're near the end of the season now, so if I break anything, I don't feel as bad. Oh yes. Oh yes, lovely. Look at them doors. Oh, one's a bit slower than the other. I should have probably checked as well if there was nothing in the way before I closed it. But yeah, really, really fun door design. Oh, hang on. This doesn't look good. Oh no, it does. It sandwiches together. Perfect. Really cool little base, that. I like that. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a door. Coming over here, now we've got the new additions to this facility of these buildings. These buildings almost look like there's something out of a space engineer's city. They're that well constructed. We've got ourselves some of these little neon connectors going around this side. We've got a drill or grinder craft on this side. Really nice use of the blue. And we've got the command center up there. So let's dive inside here and see what's going on. We'll work our way in through the grinder room at the back where this is docked. And as we come in here, it looks like we've got a bit of a command center. People looking at a missile or a drill. I think this is the drill that's outside. And then coming through there, we've got access to the lower levels that we'll have a look at in a second. And then we've got access to this little control room here that shuts off to the side. Very cool. Let's work our way down and see what's down on the lower floors. It could just be production or it could be something else. So we'll work our way in through here. So we've got storage on these little racks. Very, very cool indeed. Nice storage area with a cool catwalk. Very immersive, this base. I like an immersive base. Over on this side, we've got the rover that I was talking about. Still a little bit damaged from last time, but it's designed to be picked up by one of these crafts. You can see another one of these crafts over here with the big thrust. It had a little bit of a struggle maneuvering in some situations the other night, but I think um, maybe that could be adjusted. So this is the Dragonfly RSA there, logo, lovely, and it's got that little takeoff ramp on the top. Over on this side, we've got a burnt fighter that looks like it's been a bit damaged. We've got the really cool bomber that I've seen at a few events, and of course, Josh couldn't resist himself, and he's built a blimp. Last time he built a blimp on uh, one of our other seasons, it all went horribly wrong. But this one's got rocket launchers, Gatling guns, 20 mil rail guns, ooh, everything that you could possibly desire. And inside here, there is a little crew compartment with the cockpit access, weapons access down here. A very, very cool. Very cool facility. I really like how it's been just kind of tucked away. And the wall really adds some nice detailing to it. So we're heading over to Mop Space next. So Mop have been hard at work with their cyberpunk vibes. Let's see if we can get over there. There we go. The Arasaka Tower. So this was this big black building that we saw last time. And I didn't think too much of it. Just because it was just in like a semi-constructed mode and I wasn't too sure what was happening. But now that it's been completed, this is very, very cool indeed. So Ruffletron's down there building away, building some rovers. Interesting. Plain server and people build rovers. Inside here, we actually have a lack of aircraft because the majority of them were used up in the event. But we've got some cool footage of them launching out of these side doors. We've got the Mi-24 helicopter that was used in the event. It looks like it's been fixed up and repaired. These missiles scored an amazing hit on someone's rotors and just blew the thing to smithereens. And it looks like we've got some buttons there that access the side of the tower. So that's the new addition of that. If we just dive a little bit deeper into the tower, we also have a hidden room. Hidden room, you say, Aaron? What's in the hidden room? Well, at Roffletron's facility, it can only be one thing, can't it? Oh, there's like a little check-in desk here. Oh, I didn't know this. And then we've got the shaft that leads up, so this is like a bit of an elevator. And then we have, of course, access to the hangar bay up at the top. Where, where's the hidden floor gone? Ah, here's the hidden floor. The hidden floor is, of course, a disco. You've got Boos over there. You've got Conrod on the bar. It looks like he could do with a drink himself, to be honest. <laughs> um, then you've got some more Boos over that side. You've got somebody over on the catwalk. But just an interesting little room, something definitely you'd see in City 17. Only if they could fill this building up. Maybe a little side project they could do is, is fill this up like a City 17. Not City 17, sorry. Cyberpunk style building with different floors and different bits to it. I mean, maybe even the bits that were in Arisaka Tower because you didn't get to see much of that from the lobby and the upper floors. So, let's continue on. So, we're heading over to RAB. Now, we know RAB are always up to something, and I, I want to go over there less for their base construction, but more for their additional grids that they've got going on at the moment. So, we'll give the, 
give the sun a little bit of a spin help us out and bring that up there so the one of the new additions that i really want to show you was this a10 that's been built complete with teeth look at that that's so cool you've got the 20 millimeter of course in its nose surrounded by some auto cannons and the rest of the base will be loading in any second here as well. While the base is loading in, though, we'll have a go inside the AC-130. Because this interior is just beautiful. Using the flight seats, adding the detail. You've got each of the little control systems over here. Look at that. So cool. The little seats here for where the weapons would be fired from. Then it goes down into the loading area of this weapon station down here. Where's everything else? Why is everything else not loaded in? We've got two little symbols loading over there. I move my character over here. So over here as well, we've got their new transport aircraft. Let's see if we can have a look. Let's see if everything will load in. So all the 40k ships or the fighters have been stripped out of their hangar and loaded onto this transport craft. I'm only guessing that this could be perhaps for the end event. So in here is probably cargo, storage, supplies, everything that these ships need and RAB need to survive the end. You've got the AC-130 on the deck, the A-10 on the body. Look, we've got the bug over on this side. They've reduced the amount of turret ships that are on the perimeter to build this. Look at this. This is very cool. A very nice blimp design. Hopefully this blimp is going to be a little bit safer than some of the other ones we've seen. So there's the inner workings of the blimp. Gyroscopes and thrusters to keep this one alive. We've got the cockpit over in this section. That leads into the back here. It'll be interesting to see if this is going to be a combat grid or a transport grid, or it's maybe just something to look at as well. Because it's got the thrust, it's got everything to lift, it's just got no weapons. So unless it's going to be transporting something to the battle location, it'll be interesting. Now, on to our final grids we'll be looking at. So we're actually heading to HRT. And the main reason we're heading to HRT is to their very Christmassy vibe that they've decided to go with. And they've literally put this together over the last few days. Um, the, the, the base is pretty much the same. The vehicles, the fighters and stuff that were there are relatively the same. We've got what looks to be a Christmas pudding. Christmas pudding of some kind or Christmas cake building that's been constructed. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it, look, it, it looks really good. It's really it's weirdly detailedly well for a building that's just become a Christmas pud. Over here we have got the drill shack that's been turned into a beautifully wrapped present there you can see on the top with bows and Christmas lights going up the side. Getting a little bit of lag here just as all the grids are loading in. Aaron's, Aaron's fighting his way through it. Like them grids loading, what's going on here? Right there we go. Or maybe not. Let's bring my character over here. Sometimes bringing your character over helps the lag slow down. Ah there we go, right everything's loaded in now. Over here, we've got a lovely little Christmas tree. Look at that, complete with presents underneath. And then over on this side, a little stocking. We've got a Santa hat presents. That's why I had to come and feature this place. Just they've, added, they've gone the extra mile, adding Christmas lights, changing up the lettering of the HRT location. We've had quite a few problems with this base, with, with players just being new and not understanding the rules. Uh, we had a, a massive big dig out that went out into the hills and we've 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 had it started happening again so we're gonna have to talk to them about this again um, because we're doing literally no or very little digging on this server to help the performance and they've already started digging out two massive shafts again uh, leading over to these bunkers that just simply don't need to happen inside the hangars they've got the same aircraft as we've seen before nothing particularly new some captured aircraft as well from various other factions some helicopters fighters over here and then inside here we've just got some more transport aircraft we've got some more fighters and we've got a checkered fighter in the end hangar there and they're all nicely labeled so that was the final base there's plenty more players playing on the server at the moment but they've just really not added too much to their bases or they've been mass producing the same design because it just simply works that's a weird sort of texture effect as i'm moving around it's like Whatever that is. Oh, it's like a glass roof. It's just holding on. What's going on in here? A mass, a mass grow house. They're growing massive amounts of Christmas trees or something. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.